Hello, I'm Entrism and welcome to Moxie 3 Africa, which is kind of the sequel slash sidequel to uh, Democracy 3, which is a sequel to Democracy 2, which is a sequel to Democracy, whereby uh, you basically like take control of a country and then you try and fix it politically. Now be aware this video will have politics in it because it's a video about politically managing a country. So there, don't anyone say, oh no, take the politics away from gaming. Um, so, Democracy 3, if, if you've played it, is much more about Western nations. You know, you've got the United Kingdom, you've got the USA, you've got Germany, you've got France, etc. like that. Uh, but Democracy 3 Africa focuses on Africa and has a number of different systems. Now, it's very much the same as Democracy 3 in a lot of the regards, but it has a couple of mechanics such as corruption and also assassinations are very likely to happen because this all takes place in Africa where corruption is really high. Um, dictatorships are quite common, there's, you know, very low actual democracy going on, and, you know, there's quite a high chance of being assassinated or things being blown up or, you know, full-on civil war happening. And Democracy 3 Africa kind of takes them into account, and is quite difficult because of it. Um, I've played one game so far, and I was assassinated by a feminist conspiracy, which is probably the first time in the history of the internet that that has actually happened. Uh, so we're gonna dive in and we're gonna start a new game. So we've got a load of countries you can pick from like Mauritius, Botswana, Tunisia, South Africa, all the way over to Kenya, Nigeria, Egypt. Uh, I was playing my practice game as Kenya because I believe they have the highest corruption value of anyone. And of course, you know, me jumping into a game, oh, let's pick the most corrupt country. Uh, now, of course, I don't want to play the country I've already just played. So I'm going to play the second most corrupt country, at least I believe they're the second most corrupt country. Nigeria! I was tempted by Egypt. They're pretty corrupt for a government that's always in the news these days. Uh, but no, I'm going to go with Nigeria. So, uh, Nigeria is the Federal Republic of Nigeria. is a large country in West Africa whose coastline... I'm not going to read all this out. There's several paragraphs and I imagine a few people will get bored. I'll give you the cliff notes. Um, blah, blah, blah. They're rich in hydrocarbons. And that's most of their economy, so oil. Uh, they're independent from the United Kingdom in 1960. Uh, two separate territories that they're interested in, North and South. Uh, blah, 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 blah. North being predominantly Muslim, the South predominantly Christian. Three ethnicities comprise the majority of Nigeria's population. Uh, into geographical areas, blah, blah, blah. There's religious tensions in different regions with uh, violent religious nationalist movements in the Northeast. Excellent. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, following a succession of military junta's and aborted civilian governments, the constitutionally allowing for multi-party elections was first ratified in 1999. Its history of authoritarian regimes in society as being responsible for the culture of prebendalism. I actually don't know that word. Prebendalism. I'm sure you'll tell me. I'll also probably look it up afterwards. Uh, and corruption in Nigeria. The three dominant ethnicities in Nigeria are prominent in the politics. The most recent political elections in 2015 was considered to be generally three and thereby national and international observers for limited civil unrest during the transfer of power. Ooh, that's interesting considering it's like really corrupt. Uh, oil industry yields 75% of the government's military re uh, military resources. Wow, we just have military made of oil. Uh, budgetary revenues. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We still import oil because we're terrible. Very high tariffs on things mean we've got lots of smuggling. And only 3.8% of Nigeria's GDP is contributed by taxes. 62% uh, of Nigerians live in extreme poverty. Excellent. There's a strong nationalist movement. And we have the second most poverty coastline in Africa. This just gets better and better. Uh, our infrastructure and public services are chronically underdeveloped, foreign aid has declined as the GDP has risen, and foreign investment is curtailed by corruption, insecurity, restrictive trade policies, and inconsistent regulatory environment. Gender inequality is high, with a 20% gap in literacy rates, and a significant instance of female genital mutilation being strong indicators. Oh goody. Uh, literacy is ooh, less than 60%. Um, 50% Muslim. Female genital mutilation prevalence, about 30%. I think that's far better than, like, Egypt. Egypt is 91.1! <laughs> Life expectancy, 52. Well, 53. Democracy index, 3.76. I wonder what year on. Three, ooh, okay, we've got more democracy than Egypt. Goody, goody, goody. Okay, so we've got some democracy. Not a lot, but some. Uh, and we've got quite a lot of corruption. 
Right. This is going to go well. Uh, we're going to play opposition. The All People's Party. No, we will play against... The... Uh, oh, God. All of these are very, like, long titled. Uh, the National Action Council. No. We will play against... The... Um... I'm trying to think of something I hate. The console party. And we will play as the PC Master Race. No, 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 no. That's that's see, you, you, that's like a, a one party for like that's a that's a one one policy party. Ban consoles. No frame rates of less than six. Actually, there's several things you can do there. Uh, we're going to be. The Elysium Revolutionary Party. I hadn't actually decided whether we were going to go like Super Despot or whether we are going to go uh, like Liberal Paradise. But considering we're the Revolutionary Party, I suspect we might be going uh, left wing. And you'll be the Money Bags Alliance. Okay. Uh, turn limit two. Term years for. I would just leave it a default. So effectively, it's like actual uh, Nigeria right now. Play. Okay, so. Congratulations on your election victory. Uh, we have 175 million citizens. Okay, that's quite a lot of citizens. Um, we face a re-election in four years. Okay, so we have a low GDP, low health, low education, high unemployment, medium crime, and high poverty. Begin term in office. Okay, so if you haven't played democracy before, this is how you play it. All of these are different things, and each of these is like a different, uh, like, region, like, uh, context. So this is tax things. This is public services. This is law and order. This is transport. This is foreign policy. This is welfare. And this is economy. And they all affect different things. So if we have a look at, say, science funding. Come on. Why are you not highlighting? I saw you do it a minute ago. There we go. Uh, so science funding is causing a decrease in technology, a decrease in energy efficiency. It is fueling technology backwater, unemployment, GDP, HIV and AIDS, and it's decreasing state employees. And that is because our science funding is zero. We, we don't actually fund anything. Um, if we look at another example, if we look at, say... Ooh, let's look at a red one. So this is something I can change, right? This is a policy. So that's why it is grey. I can change it. If we look at, say... HIV and AIDS. Is this the one? No, this is the one over here. HIV and AIDS, right. Why are you being terrible with highlighting today, HIV and AIDS? Right. So, violent crime is definitely increasing HIV and AIDS. Education is definitely increasing HIV and AIDS. Foreign aid is decreasing it, because red is decreasing, green is increasing. Uh, private health care is decreasing it, and state health service is decreasing it. The more little arrows on the thing, the more it's doing. So we can see that, say, the health is very slow, but violent crime is increasing a little bit more, and then it is causing health to be decreased quite dramatically. Like, there's a lot of things going towards health. Sadly, our health is bad. Um, yeah, and you see the pollution is, like, really fast, so pollution is definitely decreasing health. And this is, like, you can't change AIDS. You can change the things that affects it, but this is just a thing. You can't just go, AIDS, stop being a thing, and AIDS will go, okay, it will not be a thing. You have to, like, you know, educate people, fund services, etc., or get rid of violent crime. Um, so... Actually, let's have a look at this. So, you've got a start trigger and a stop trigger. So, this red thing here is the start, val is the start trigger. When you go above that, you have this as an epidemic. Uh, and if it goes below the green thing, it stops. And this is what's causing it. So, Education, it's pretty low. So unfortunately, it's helping. Uh, state health service is decreasing it. Uh, private health care, decreasing it. Foreign aid is decreasing it. Violent crime is unfortunately increasing it as well. And its effects is state health service. 
Health decreases. I think this is the pay for state health or the funding or something or something. Uh, this is the membership of the elderly, which is decreasing because people don't live that long like they die. Uh, and this is everybody. Everybody dislikes AIDS. That's a profound statement of fact. Uh, and so you can do things. And now we've got the blue things as well, which are also uh, just like, they're just stats, right? Unlike this, which is a event. It is bad. It is very red. That is bad. Uh, the blue things are just stats. So we can look at this and be like, oh, this is oil demand. You can just look at oil demand. That's oil demand. You can affect it though. And if we follow some of the things back, you will notice that energy efficiency is decreasing oil demand. We can have a look at air travel, increasing oil demand. Car usage, increasing oil demand. Rail usage, increasing oil demand. What's this? Religious persecution. Racial tension is massively funding that. Oh god, how do I get rid of religious tension? Um, Poverty is increasing that. Unemployment is increasing that. Stability is being decreased by that. Ethnic minorities don't like that. Education is... Okay, so basically we need to improve education first. What is our education? It's zero. Okay. So how do we affect education? State schools, private schools. Well, let's start on the state schools then. Uh, I can't affect private schools because they're private. So wooden schoolhouses. Goody. So this costs us uh, Nigerian. I don't know what it is. I assume it's Nigerian something or others. Uh, many. 277 billion per quarter. We want to increase that, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is because we need to check what our budget is. We have a surplus right now. Wow, we have a surplus? We have quite a large debt, though. But we have a surplus. That's quite amazing. Okay, so we can actually spend 319 before we actually start losing any money. Right now, we're in surplus, which is great for us. So we want to tackle some of these big red things that are going on. What's this? Oh, God. Race riots. Okay, so basically we need to decrease racial tension. And the best way to do that is with education. Because we followed it all the way back. And education is one of the big things that feeds into it. Education will also improve our GDP. Uh, so, let us increase this. Like, I can... Right, we're on like 280 right now. I can increase it by 300 to uh, 580. But honestly... I would like to increase it up to here. Now we're going to start losing money if I do that, but I need to I need to I need to have all these. Like right now we need to improve a lot of this. Private school is going to take a hit from it, but we need to improve education. We need to just start affecting a lot of this. This is just not good. Um so a massive buff to education would really help. So probably about hmm, let me see. Yeah, let's go to about here. We're going to need to find some money from somewhere for this, but it should work. Now, you can see that it has got poverty getting worse. That's not getting worse, actually. That is decreasing. Red is decreasing. It's not bad. It's just decreasing. So poverty decreases because of more people in education. Unemployment decreases because we're going to have more people, you know, educated and stuff in the education. So we're going to apply that. And we're going to have some issues with money. So we need to find a way to get more money. At the same time, we don't want to scare off people away. So if we, for instance, went... Are you corporation tax or income tax? You're corporation tax. You can see that corporation tax affects loads of stuff, blah, blah, blah. If we ramp that up, you can see the GDP takes a nosedive. Why is that? It's because all the companies leave. Because if you increase corporation tax, they're going to be like, no, nah, I'm going to leave, mate. Um, and there is a certain amount you can push it before it starts affecting GPP. So up to here, it only affects GDP a tiny bit. Beyond here is when it has a massive effect, so we could get a little bit more out of it. We could get, you know, a few tens of billions, but then we would be starting to affect the GDP. So I'm going to try and get just a smidge more out of it. Just two more percent. Okay, so every time it's using political capital. Raising things, lowering things, cost political capital. We're down to nine political capital. You get this every turn from your ministers. Don't need to really worry about that. So I'm going to hit next. Achievement unlocked. Educational failure. Well, we started as an educational failure, let's be honest. Um, yay! 
Right, so poverty, still high. Crime is on the down, though. Now, a lot of this takes time to implement. You don't suddenly have a better educa educated population because you just started an education initiative. It takes time. So, a lot of this we'll see happening, you know, in a few turns' time. Uh, the budget is a surplus each quarter, which is great news. It might not be that our education budget has got through, though. It might be still, you know, we're still starting to pay for it. It's ramping up. Um, the Royal Alliance have warned that they have farmers and the Royal Citizens feeling they have nothing to lose when it comes to fighting the government. Okay, so we may be attacked by farmers. Hopefully they'll just be building bitch fox. Uh, the polls are not good. Our last poll puts us at 0% of the vote in election. Uh-oh. Um, the global order is doing well. It's having a positive effect on our GDP. We've got a event, which is about oil. And our ministers like us so far. Okay. So let's look at our event. Drilling opportunity. Uh, the oil supplies up to the refuge are considerable, but the drilling would have a negative impact on the environment. So basically, this is a plus money negative environment thing. So we prevent the drilling, which improves our environment. Or we can push the drilling, which gets us money. Now, it also includes a resilient uh, reliance on foreign oil. And that means that the patriots are going to hate us. Because patriots don't like us relying on foreign governments. They want to be self-sufficient. They want to be a strong country, etc. Uh, we need the money to fund a lot of other things. Now, you know, damaging the environment means that we get more people ill, which puts more strain on our health service, which means we need more money in the health service. But for now, I'm going to allow the drilling because we need the money. Uh, if we have a look at this. Oil wealth. Awesome. And we can keep this going. We get lots of monies. It will stop, however, if we get too low. What are you being supplied by? Economy type. Um, value. It's just got a value. It's not really a type. It's got a value. Okay. Um, sure. Right. So what's this? Labor laws. Pro-employer. Wages are relatively low. Democracy is fairly low. If I increase it a little bit, what happens? Democracy goes up. Wages go up. Socialism, trade union members go up. Productivity goes down a little bit. Capitalists get unhappy. Working week gets down. Trade unions get happy. Socialists get happy. And we get, you know, more socialists. Um, I would say balanced. I wouldn't want to, you know, tank our GDP. But I would say if we go balanced, we'll start getting people in the socialist group. And this is important, right? Because right now, we're competing against... 0% of the population like us. Right. 0% will get our vote. We'll get the vote of 0% of the population, right? So we need to change that. And the way we can do that is we can put people into groups who will support us. So by increasing the membership of these two factions, we can get them to vote for us. So I will apply this. It will cost us 27 of our political power, which is quite a lot. And it's going to cost us about 4 billion per quarter. And implementation, 2. So it's going to take 2 quarters to implement of two turns. Um, in the meantime, what's this? Ghettos. Racial tensions. Again, I just got to get rid of racial tensions. Uh, I say that like it's easy, but that's the only thing that really matters right now. Is This racial tension thing is fueling everything. Um, so unemployment again. Education again. Foreign relations is fueling it. Well, how do I improve foreign relations? Child labor is, yeah, maybe we could do something about that. CO2 emissions, they don't like us. Stability, they don't like us because we're unstable. Let's have a look at some new things. So by clicking this uh, light bulb, this is policy ideas. These are things we can add. Now, the red ones we don't actually have the political capital for at the moment. We can get them next time, though, so it's worth looking at. So citizenship tests. People like this. Not sure that it's worthwhile doing. It might cause problems later, but people like it. Because there's a lot of patriots around. Foreign aid. We could get money. Oh, no, this is giving foreign aid. Importing tariffs. Uh, foreign aid petition. There we go. We would get money. Um, welcome by the poor patrons. Be displeased what they see as a show of weakness. Okay. So maybe it's now worth looking at these, which is, you know, people. So this is how much people like us. So patriots like us a little bit. Elderly like us quite a lot. Excellent. We're friends with the elderly. Um, and in the background, this little grey thing you can see is... The percentage of the population that makes up these people. So right now we've got a lot of conservatives. 
In fact, 100% of the population is conservative. They very much dislike the race riots. If we can solve the race riots, we can uh, get a lot of friendship there. So yeah, 100% uh, of the people are conservative because they believe in traditional family values, no sense for marriage, and against the legalization of drugs. They're generally in favor of strong policies on law and order. Whereas if we have a look at, say, I mean, how many socialists do we have? Liberals, wow. No one in the entire country is liberal. Why did you let me again? Uh, my popularity is low. Great. And socialists. I wish got quite a lot of socialists. 65%. If we really appeal to the socialists, it's possible. Okay. Nobody likes us, though, so we've got to work to get our niche. I don't know how we're elected. Seems a little bit unfair that we were elected on zero. Um, but, right, let's have a look at what we can actually get. So... Childcare benefits, childcare provisions, etc. Genital mutilation ban. I really do want to do that, but it would tank our ability to actually get votes. Because look at that. Nobody likes that. Um, I would love to do it, though. Family planning? No. No, people really don't like this stuff. Pff, all this liberal stuff. Pff. Welfare fraud department. Costs us money, but people love it. But the problem is, it's going to be loved by conservatives. And... The Conservatives aren't going to vote for us. They aren't. They're going to vote for someone else. Unless we go super, super conservative. But I don't think that will solve our racial tension problems. Um, so let's see. Is there a tax we can add? Airline tax. People don't like that. Is there a tax people like? Probably not. Internet tax. That can have a problem with uh, oppressing your technology, though. Uh, it will cripple the high-tech economy and do enormous harm to the country's competitiveness. Luxury good tax. They're 50-50 on that. That might be something we can consider. Marriage tax, that's giving people tax. We want to find something that gives us income. So, plastic bag tax, people don't like that. Uh, mansion tax, people like the mansion tax. I think we should do the mansion tax. Now, the wealthy dislike it. The elderly dislike it a little bit. Equity goes up slightly, and socialists like it. We've got quite a lot of socialists. So, we'll also see that you look at our income. Nice and high. Now, I don't want to piss off the elderly. So, we're probably going to leave it at its default value. Right there. Where we get a little bit of socialists. The wealthy hate us. Um, but we also get a good amount of money. So, now we've got the mansion tax. You see we've got the mansion tax down here. And that will give us a bit of money. We can use that money to spend on increasing our budget and increasing our health. So, we've got two political capital left. We can't really do anything that. Next. See, we're going to make Nigeria awesome. We need, we, I need a cap. Make Nigeria great again. That's that's the title for this uh, this series. Crimes way down. We're really improving that. Um, still, no one will vote for us. We have a crazy surplus. Okay, so poverty, crime, education, health, and GDP. Okay, take me a while to fix those. Social. Look at that. They're liking me. Trade units. Same again. Capitalists. Yeah, they don't like me. Um, right. Power block alignment. We can align ourselves with other countries in the area and so on. Although our bloc's voice can be heard strong in international politics, the coalition exerts influence over our domestic policy. Regional integration of tariffs, foreign and petitioning, blah, blah, blah. Um, this encourages citizens to invest in domestic enterprises, uh, curtailment of global free market and unpopular with capitalists who believe that resources should be allowed to flow where they have the most utility. Mm, I don't think I want to do that yet. And it's also four quarters to implement. I will do a power block alignment because it's popular voters and it'll also make us better on the international stage. So let's see. Foreign aid received is higher. Investment is higher. Relations are higher. Liberals dislike it. There's no one liberal. Conservatives like it. Patriots dislike it. I'm going to go and just whack it to the max. Because it just seems to be a linear scale. We've got 15 points left for this turn. Let's see. Enterprise investment scheme, health food, junk food. If we do, you know, these grants, it's very tempting. Adult education subsidies. Education of the workforce would be good. 
free school meals. That helps the poor. That helps um, schools and stuff. University grants. People love university grants. Let's do it. It's just money, right? No one dislikes this. And it decreases skill shortage. It just costs a lot of money. Look at that. Looking at 214 straight off the bat. But I actually have some money to burn. Now, I could put it at a lower level. I can't really afford to do a higher level. But let's do it at a, a little bit of a lower level, maybe. Let's apply the... Actually, since we just put it in, how much would it cost me to do this? Oh, nothing, because uh, we've only just employed it. So, yeah, let's do 100 billion per quarter. And then let's see where that gets us. Uh, public smoking ban. Okay, so Nigeria, you have problems with uh, the environment and pollution and health. If we ban public smoking, it does help, but people don't like it. I'm going to ban it because we need to do something about the health. And in fact, next time we're probably going to do some national health service or something. But that doesn't affect race relations as much, and I need to fix the race relation problem. Polling station withdrawal. Some opposition parties have withdrawn their presidents and polling stations in protest over the alleged election tampering. This will cite the uh, reason for the loss, and the action has been whipped up political activists into a frenzy. Er, people don't like us because of that. Uh, health is starting to go up. Great. Still got a small surplus. Still no one's voting for us. Okay. Foreign intelligence interference is really high because of stability. Yeah, our stability isn't great. Okay, how do we make our stability great again? GDP could be higher. Health and education. Infrastructure's low. Inequality, poverty, democracy. Well, let's try and fix democracy. Labor laws, child labor. Legislative independence. Stream of thought and association. Right of demonstration. Judicial independence. Um, democracy goes up. Liberals go up. Corruption goes down. Let's do it. Let's make the legislative uh, body as separate as possible. It'll take a while to implement, but yeah, let's do it. We've got 18 political power left. Judicial independence. Let's maximize it. Let's decrease corruption, increase liberals, increase democracy. Yeah. Can't. It costs a lot of political capital. Yeah, beating, beating corruption is hard. What's this? Press freedom. Yep. Do it. People like that. Right. This thing seems a little bit stationary at the moment. We need to increase our education. Oh, look at that. Small deficit. So we are starting to lose money. So the education sort of being slowly brought in is now starting to take its toll against our GDP. Um, the hard left extremist group known as the Revolutionary Army are growing in strength and may consider a serious threat to our government in the medium term. But they should like me. Oh. What's the question today? A law has been promoted to regulate the fat content and nutritional value of food sold to children, including a food sold in fast food restaurants and, of course, food served in schools. It's not likely to, uh, likely to incur a cost to the food retailers. Uh, ugh, I'm not going to regulate children's food for a few reasons. Firstly, liberals will hate it because, strictly, this is like the old-fashioned form of liberals, i.e. people who don't want laws, want freedom uh, of stuff. So people don't like, you know, governments regulating food. Uh, and also because it's going to be, people are going to be like, oh, why are you messing with my burgers? I like my burgers, lots of fat and the cheese and all that. Um, and also because it's not a problem right now. Like, obesity isn't really a problem, so I'm going to leave them unchanged. There aren't a lot of fat Nigerians at the moment. So we need to start fixing our, uh, uh, if we look at our debt, it was going down and then it sort of flattened out because of me. The GDP is oh, just bottomed. Uh, interest rate, flat. Expenditure's gone up. Income. Look, income had a bump there. But expenditure has uh, not really matched it. Oh, go away. Quit tutorial. Bye. Income. Income tax, corporation tax, mansion tax, sales tax, expenditure, state pensions, health service. 
state schools, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of uh, political freedom now, so let us play with the judiciary. Make them as big as possible. Decreasing corruption, increasing liberals, increasing democracy. Do it. We're down to 14. I don't think there's much we can do with 14. We'll have a look at, like, is there anything we can do over here? Subsidizing school buses is actually fairly expensive. Hmm. Is there anything, like, cheapish? None of these are particularly cheap. No. Law and order. Gated communities is a thing. Community policing. Prisoner tagging. Racial Discrimination Act. Ooh. People don't like it, but it would maybe start to help. It might help. Let's implement it. Racial tensions. Yeah, there we go. Directly hits racial tensions. And if I revert it, conservatives don't like it very much. But it only starts to get a problem at the very high end. So I'm going to put it there. Just about in high. And that should mean that racial issues are going to have a decrease. What's this? Religious persecution. Race tensions. Oh, that's still really high. Oh, well, next turn. Patriotic plot. Oh, the Patriot Army to be a bit crazy. The rhetoric coming from the organization in recent weeks has taken a turn for the worse. Many of them now see certain that a military attack against the government is justified and desirable. We do not believe that they're currently planning an attack, but these dangerous people should be in close watch. Okay, so Patriots want to kill me. Uh, health is down. Oh, dear. Crime is down. Yay. After the build national monument. Uh, small budget deficit. It's getting larger. Uh-oh. Uh, we still get 0% of the vote. Oh, dear. Maybe I should just be a dictator. Right. Foreign aid petitioning. Get more money that way. If we petition people for foreign aid, maybe we'll be okay. Right, economy. What have we got? Agri dealer network. Uh, order and barter for agriculture supplies and quarterly sell their produce to achieve better prices. This will buff our GDP. We have got a mostly uh, agricultural nation apart from the oil. So that would help. What else? Work safety law, technology grants. That's expensive though. Space uh, uh, space program. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, people really want the space program though. Pollution control. People don't want it, but organic farming subsidy, pretty expensive again. Religious rest day. People really want that, but it would hit our GDP pretty much too hard. Um Tax. Yes. Give me the tax. Flat income. <laughs> no. People want luxury goods now. Yeah. And that hits pretty quickly. One quarter to get it going. Let's do it. Socialists like it. Quality goes up. Wealth is dislike it. Capitalists dislike it. High earners dislike it. No, I want to just leave it effectively about there. We'll get about 157. And then we can implement more things. Jury trial, legal aid, legal aid, prostitution, wiretapping. Um, ooh. Anti corruption. Any corruption enforcement agency. Eliminating corruption may be mandated, but detecting perpetrators is an excuse. The only way to stamp out the abuse of power. Uh, the more resources an anti corruption agency has, the more powerful defendant they can bring to justice. They're fairly cheap as well. I like that. Let's do it. State employees dislike it because they're being suspected. Uh, corruption decreases pretty heavily as well. So let's do it. If we can get rid of corruption, that'll allow, you know, people internationally to like us more. Foreign aid petitioning, let's do it. 
Uh, Patreon's gonna hate us, but we'll get money. And off to build national monument. Um, right. Accepting the offer to a monument is not critical to the trade relationship we've established. Our new international partners may see it as a stub. We don't want to anger our patriots. Okay, so patriots will hate us if we uh, take it, but. Preserves old alliances, etc. Trading parts. So it's basically a slight, a small buff somehow to GDP in the end through trade internationally, but that will annoy the Patriots. I'm going to take it. Annoy the Patriots. Sure. I'll probably get assassinated by them, but you know, what the hell. Uh, they're not plotting yet, but they're getting there. Political relationship downgraded. What? I just took a. So a uh, trading partner has downgraded the political relationship with the country. GDP's dropped, foreign investments dropped, capitalists and everyone. Ugh. Small surplus. Too small to really bother about. Uh, nobody likes us yet. And the hard left hate me. So the hard left hate me and the patriots hate me. Good job. Maybe I should appeal to the socialists. Hi. Slightly happy about my government. Foreign investment is still at zero. Now we're going to try what we can. Um, how do we fix this? We need more education, really. Ooh, ooh, it's time to dip. It's time to dip. So we're getting rigid persecution, we've got race riots, and we've got ghettos. So ghettos are beginning to dip a little bit. Race riots are dropping quite massively. Right, so we just got to keep this up, and I think that will end. What's the religious population here? So I'm wondering about um, religious. Everyone is religious. So I can't fix uh, creationism. Legalize non-hetero. Liberals will like it. Democracy goes up, but it'll tank us a little bit with everyone. I can't take that right now. Um, little steps, baby steps, right? Baby steps. Violent crime is down, liberals hate us a little bit, patriots hate us a lot, parents like us a little bit, liberals and Yeah. No, I can't change gun laws. What else can I change? Uh, let's look at the corruption. What is corruption causing? International war, democracy. Oil price. Mm, okay. So. I think we've done as much as we can for that. What have we got? Like 35 we can spend on something. Oh, what can we do? International election observers. People don't like it. Okay. Free school meals, public libraries. Free school meals are cheaper. Youth club. The thing is, I don't want to spend any more money because right now we're pretty much on the edge. Could do gated communities, but people don't tend to like them. But some people like, uh. But I've got to appeal to the socialists. They're the only group who can actually push me into the win. That's a fairly low potential cost. It's got a long term, but it will result in higher farming production. Yeah, let's implement it. Conservatives dislike it. Less people in urbanism. Agricultural fishery goes up. Industry goes up. Rural go. Yeah, let's do it. Next. It's going to take four quarters of that to actually happen, though. They're not currently planning an attack. Okay. We've ended AIDS! We've ended the situation. 
Yay! Uh, health has gone up. Squatter rights. Small surplus. Um, 0% still. Secure briefing. The left are going to kill me. My ministers are supportive. Okay. Well, HIV and AIDS has dropped, which means our, our health service, if we find it, it's starting to peak a little bit now. Yay! Children's food. Oh, okay. Um, right, how are you doing? Still dropping. Dropping nicely. Oh, military interference. Oh, dear. Okay, how do I get rid of military interference? Stability is causing... Yeah, we need more stability. Yep. Basically stability. Um... Oh, the choices, the choices, the choices. What should we do? We've got a lot of, You know what we should do? We should probably try and replace a couple of our cabinet ministers who don't like us. So, these are our cabinet ministers. They provide us with stuff. You don't like me the most. You only get me one point. Basically, the more they like you, uh, and the more their experience and effectiveness, the more political capital they'll give. So you give me 2.8, but you only give me 1.5. So, I'm going to 5 to capital. People don't like that. You see, they all just dropped. And I'm going to hire... Uh, for law and order. Probably someone who desires law and order. You do, but you don't have experience in your loyalties. Meh. Ah, you! You've got experience at... Yes, higher. You notice I've got a 4.3 there now. Religious and socialist. Interesting. Okay, so I've got to appeal to the socialist there. Right. So the idea is hopefully we can end this race riot and hopefully not get kicked out. We're not even halfway through our term right now, but still no one is going to vote for us, which kind of sucks. We're a very new party, but somehow we're in charge of the government. Um, ethnic minorities are liking us more, but they're the minorities. Everyone is liking us a little bit more, but still won't vote for us. Um, socialists are starting to vote for us. The elderly have always liked us, apparently. Let's look. Policies. Changes. Changes, right. Health's gone up 10%. Equality's gone up 10%. Crime's gone down 25%. Violent crime has actually decreased. In the only, like, what, two years I've been in power, violent crime's decreased 61%. Poverty's decreased. Unemployment's decreased. Racial tensions decreased. Foreign relations have increased. Poor have earned more money. Tobacco usage has dropped. Middle class earnings have increased. International credit has decreased, unfortunately. High earnings have decreased. Organ consumption. Traffic congestion. Corruption's decreased. Um, dictatorship's gone up. Oh, dear. Oh, it went up right at the beginning when I went in power. I assume I did a coup to get into power. That might be why. Um, population growth. Infrastructure's gone down. I think we're doing, generally, we're doing quite well. Oh, hi. Oh, dear. But right. We are going to end this episode here. Hopefully, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll actually have... Uh, a little bit of a plan, because right now, oh, I'm not sure where we're going with this one. It doesn't look like we're getting to get into power. We might need to somehow fix this. I'm not sure how, but we'll try. Anyway, been at Elysium. This has been Democracy 3 Africa, which is like £10.99 or whatever your regional equivalent is. I like it. It's a game of stats and politics, which is going to just drive YouTube insane, I bet. I can't wait for the comment section. But until next time, oh, and do give me feedback below in the comments and stuff about what you think, what you think about this, the game, the politics, the policies, Africa, or whatever. Or just telling me that I'm a noob because that's what the comments do. Uh, and in this case, they'd be right. I'm probably going to get assassinated or, you know, impeached or possibly just unelected. But yeah, until next time, stay shiny.